Hello everybody and good morning. And uh, today I have a very interesting comparison video for you. Um, I have in my possession a Rolex Date, which is in 34 millimeters. The Rolex Date Just over here, which is in 36 millimeters, and an Omega Aquaterra in 38.5 millimeters. So they are all sub 40 millimeter watches, and I thought it would be quite interesting to um, take a look at their sizes in comparison to each other. Um, as you can see, the diameter range is not that great, uh, from ranging from 34 all the way to 38.5. Uh, but of course, some may say that uh, even a millimeter can make a difference. But other than size in um, measurements we can see that there are other factors that uh, play a part to make the watch look uh, large or small in this case you can see that the luck to luck uh, length as well as the luck width do play a critical part as well right so for the uh, western perpetual date is in 19 millimeters luck width this is in 20 and this is in uh, 20 as well but the luck to luck length as you can see they are all roughly the same at roughly 42 to 44 millimeters so as you can see over here i would say that the luck length would play a more critical role in determining the size of the watch other than the actual width itself right so as you can see this is smallest this is medium and this is large. In fact, the Datejust and the Seamaster Aquaterra looks roughly the same. And the 34mm Date does not look that small after all. It looks almost comparable to the other two. As you can see, because of the long lux and the 42mm lug length of the Date. Right? So this is just a quick comparison of three very interesting monochromatic watches that I have and uh, the size comparisons and uh, hope you like the video and if you do, please do consider subscribing and liking and of course I appreciate your comments. Here's wishing you a wonderful day ahead and happy collecting in good health. Cheers!